Hi everybody. So I've never done this before, but I thought that I would share with you an easy to make Chinese herb that is available in most of your kitchens. So as I'm going through and trying to figure out what herbs I have that can be helpful in this time of uh, pandemic and being locked at home and trying to say, stay healthy, one of the herbs that I realized that I don't have, which is easy to make at home, is orange peel or tangerine peel, chen pi as we call it in Chinese medicine. So essentially this herb is very good for digestion. It's good if you have nausea, bloating, um, if you feel over full, it's a qi regulator. So qi being kind of that motive force in the body that moves everything around. Um, moves your blood in the blood vessels, moves your gastric juices. This is the, the energy or um, it's hard to translate it. That's why we don't translate it. It's just chi and it moves um, and it gets stuck. And often when it gets stuck, um, you will be using aromatic pungent herbs to move that chi. So when you think of aromatic herbs, you're talking about cardamom. You're talking about um, ginger, cinnamon. These, uh, they tend to be mostly warming, so you wanna be careful if you're too warm of an individual or feel that you're too dry, like you're thirsty a lot and these kinds of things. But really useful, and this is one herb that you're not gonna go wrong with it. You can use it in cooking, you can use it in a tea. Um, has anti-inflammatory properties and a ton of vitamin C. Um, and many of you will know that it uh, here in Egypt is mixed into our traditional bukhor that we uh, that we burn as an incense. My mom used to burn it in our house after after uh, she made us fish so to take that fish smell out of the kitchen. Um, so you can uh, you can use it in a number of different ways. So essentially, all you're going to do is take your oranges that you have in your house. You're going to soak them and you're going to scrub them clean. Of course. In an ideal world, this would be a, uh, an organic orange or an organic tangerine. I don't have those at this moment, so I'm using what I have. I washed it and scrubbed it, as I said. I'm going to prepare a baking dish with some wax paper on it. Um, I had to find out that wax paper is called what at Zibda, so I could actually get some. Um, and if you don't want to do it, this uh, pan procedure is if you want to do it in the oven. Um, if you don't want to do it in the oven, you can also put it on a rack and leave it out in the sun for two or three days. Of course, here then, if you don't have a sunny spot in your house, you're really talking about putting it outside and exposing it to dust. So if you can do it inside your house, that is best. You're just going to take your orange, peel it with a peeler. It's actually harder than I thought it was going to be. Lay them on your tray. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. Like so. Um, you're going to put them in the oven until they dry at like 150, 200 degrees Fahrenheit. That's low. I don't know what that is in uh, Celsius. You guys can figure that out. Um, until they're dry. When they're, when they're dry, they may turn dark in color. That's totally fine. Um, much of the, of the chen pi or the orange peel that we use is sometimes even black, so don't worry about the color at all. And, um, and store it in a dry jar in your, uh, in your cabinet. Add it to teas. If you're going to add it to a tea, uh, just put a lid over the top of it for a few minutes to get those aromatic uh, oils. Um, and dosage. Chinese medicine, we always do dosage for everything. This is one I'm not really worried about with you guys, but it's three to nine grams per day. So that's kind of your, your basic dosage. We typically don't use any herbs individually, really. Um, we use them mostly in combination, depending on what's going on with the person. Um, because this is orange peel and it's non-toxic, I'm not worried about that for you guys. But the dosage would be three grams which looks like about that much. And nine grams would be just a little bit more than that. So, uh, or three times that. So you can really kind of use it generously. And like I said, throw it in your food, throw it wherever. Um, and I hope you have fun doing this. And if you like this one, I may do more. Bye, I hope you're staying well.